Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we installed Playmaker, set up our new project, and now we're ready to start building up our interface. If you haven't used Unity before, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the very basics of this interface. Here in the very center, we have our scene view, and this is where we're going to get to see our objects and interact with them within our scene visually. And um, over here on the left, where it says hierarchy, we're going to have all of the objects and things that we're going to be working with within the scene. And finally, down here on the in the project panel down here, this is is going to have all of the objects and components and things that we can use within our entire project. So when we install Playmaker, it set up these folders for us, and it's got its own components. And as we create things, we're going to be adding them to our project down here and then using them up here on our left for our scene. So to get started we can create a user interface by just right clicking anywhere up in here and just click right clicking under UI and choose text and so this is where we're going to lay out for example the health of our simulator, the food that we have, how much money we have. So we're going to focus on some of these basic things at first and then we'll build our game up as we learn more and we want to add more complexity. So let's start out with just adding a simple health because that's going to be the most important thing. We have to have health, right? You got to have your health. So we're going to add a text label to represent our health. And when I, when I click that and choose text, you don't really see anything. It's not, uh, Unity is not very good at like showing you exactly where it put that text box. But all you need to do is just double click it here and it'll take you right to where that text box was placed. And you can see it right here uh, at the bottom and there's a, a white line going through it. And if I use my uh, mouse zoom, my scroll wheel on my mouse bar, I can zoom out and you can see here that this uh, white rectangle, that is our screen dimensions. That's basically showing us where our screen is going to be displayed when we play the game. So, for example, when I go to play the game, and this button right here in the very top center is how we launch our game, I hit play, you'll see that in the very, very bottom down here on the lower left, you're going to see this text box. Uh, label sitting here. So let's fix that and make it look a little better. So I can double click it again to zoom in on it and over here on the right, um, right now it's showing these services that we're not going to have to worry about in this course. Um, what we're concerned about here is the inspector. So we're going to click on inspector here and when you click items over here on the left it's going to show you their properties over here on the right in the inspector. In this case we have our new text object and we can see right here where it says new text so let's go ahead and just change this to say health like that and I'm gonna put a colon because it's you know we're gonna put a label next to it that will actually have our health in there and for example for right now let's just say we're gonna start it out with a hundred now this black is really hard to read here let's go ahead and click on the color and you can see this right here this uh, where we can define the color and I just click on that and let's change it to white so it'll show up really easy. Maybe just a little off blue, just so it looks a little bit, a little bit neat, like that. And now we can click this and move it around. And if I run this again, we'll see that it's still going to be at the bottom, but now we can see it a little bit better. Let's make it look a little bit prettier. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. We don't need it to be quite so small. Hmm make sure we have plenty of room. It's never going to be over a hundred or, you know, we might get more health uh, as we, you know, add features to the game. We might decide that you can, you know, work out and increase your maximum health, but we're probably never going to get over four digits here. Um, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and reposition it. So I'm going to zoom out using my mouse scroll wheel, just like that, and we're going to take this and move it up here to the top left corner. Now we've actually got health 100 up in here. And let's go ahead and we can duplicate this and then drag it down like so. And we'll call this one food. So we'll put food in here. And run it again. 
And now we have two tags, one for health and one for food. So one thing we're going to do before we end this lecture is we don't want to leave these things labeled text here. Text, text one. You can see when we create these objects that it just gives them a generic name, in this case text. And when we got the second one, it put a parentheses one after it. Instead, let's label these for what they are. And I'm going to label this one health label text. And I'm going to come to this one and label it food label text. And that's it. So there's one more attribute, um, and there's actually two more. One is money, because we want to keep track of the money. And the other one is going to be the day. And for right now, we're just going to start with day one, and then we'll go to day two and day three and so forth. So I'm going to ask you to pause this lecture right now pause it and we're going to then ask you to create the other two labels create one label for money and one label for uh, the day in our game and go ahead and do that yourself pause it try to try to to make those labels and position them where they look good and then when you're done unpause the video and I'll show you how to do it but this is really your first challenge. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and tried to do this yourself. I'm gonna do it now just so, um, in case anyone did have trouble, you can just click on any one of these and duplicate like I did before. I'm gonna show you how you can shift click so I can select both of these and then click duplicate. So I've got, I made a copy of both of them and then now I can drag them both across. I'm just gonna put them over here I'm going to do a couple of other little things too. You'll notice that even with them both selected, I can go over here to the alignment and say I want them both aligned to the right. So it'll align like that. Now that I've done that, I can come in here and say, well, what do we want on top? Let's put the money on top. So we'll say money label text. And we'll say money. And in this case, we'll just start them out with no money. I think most of these life simulators, you probably want to start people out with no money. It just is, uh, makes you feel like you're really starting and building from the ground up. It's your game, though. Maybe you want them to start out with a little bit of money. Um, and then uh, we want a day label text here. And we'll just put day one. And let's run it. Make sure it looks okay. And there we go we have our labels. Now before we end the lecture, let's go ahead and add at least a couple of buttons for our first interactions with the game. And these are obviously going to get more complex. We're going to have a lot more of these, but um, let's just do some simple ones. And so I'm going to right click Canvas again. I'm going to come down to UI. And in addition to doing it here, you can also do it up here. So if I click on Canvas, I go to Game Object, I can come to UI up here and choose button here as well. And you see we have a button and let's go ahead and call this the eat button. So when we eat, we'll, we hit this button, this is gonna be us eating food. Now in the life simulator games, you start eating garbage. So we'll make this a button to eat garbage. Uh, I'm gonna drag it up here a little bit more to the center of our game. And I don't like how far out we are. It's kinda hard to see. I can hold down the right mouse button to center this and move it around. Pan it. Panning is the right word. So you can pan this. Um, now the button is composed of actually two objects. We have our eat button here on the top that has various components and we'll see more about components over here on our objects. But you'll also notice that there's a little triangle here that I can expand and that there's a text object inside of the button. So this is nested under it. And I, so I can click this text and here's where I can change the name of the button. And so I'm going to name this here. I'm going to say eat garbage, just like that. And um, for now, that we'll just leave that for now. We can resize it, make it a little bit different, because we're just laying out the interface at this point. We'll learn more about what all this does later. And now let's make another button, duplicate, and we'll say... I guess it's like a sleep outside button, maybe. 
It'll improve our health. So this one will improve our food. This one will improve our health. And now we can click it and drag just like that. You'll notice there's some helpers that help you line things. So when I get it perfectly lined up, that little blue line pops in the center of eat gar eat the other eat garbage button. And this one, we're gonna say sleep outside. So these are our very basic ones. And we'll go ahead and make sure we're consistent here and have our button here. And finally, let's have one more button. And this is, will be our button to work. And in this case, we're not gonna really work. We're gonna say beg button. So we'll beg for money for our first job. Move our button over, sleep outside. Yes, it didn't get what I saved there because I didn't hit enter. So we'll say beg for money button. And in the text, then we can just say beg. Now we'll say beg for money. And we could even put, actually say beg, and we could put like $1 here to show that every time you beg, you get a dollar. So you could just put that in there for now for our simple game. And you'll notice that I didn't bother to rename the text inside of these. Now, if I have to reference them directly, which is entirely possible later, then we might actually give them names. But as long as um, it's just a generic text label inside of buttons, then it's probably not so important to name this because it's, uh, it's obvious that this is the text for that button. What we don't want is a bunch of buttons just named buttons or a bunch of labels that we're actually using up here uh, not making any sense. So with that, we're ready to start uh, building up the actual workings of our game in the next lecture. So we're gonna we're gonna end this lecture. Uh, basic interface setup. Just practice with your labels. Practice with your buttons. In the next lecture, we're gonna start actually making some actual operations and see if we can't. Uh, start adding some actual uh, progress in our game, some actual action.